Well, two large private labs that process millions of pap tests a year in Ontario say they're experiencing a backlog in results. As Anastasia Noche tells us, the wait for results has significantly increased in recent months. PAP test results are one of the many health care delays currently seen across the province. The number of cytotechnologists and medical lab technologists in the province has always been a problem. Cytotechnologists are the specialists who examine abnormal cells potentially found during PAP tests. The test is used to find precancerous cell changes in the cervix. There's only one cytotechnologist program actually here at the Michener Institute downtown Toronto. From a services perspective of what we are able to provide um, in the province of Ontario, there has been a shortage. As the COVID-19 pandemic slows down, the need for PAP tests have gone up. CEO of the Medical Laboratory Professionals Association of Ontario, Michelle Hode, says the wait time was around two weeks, but now patients are waiting up to two months. Well, the concern we're hearing right now is because of the delay, could there potentially be someone that has something that's problematic that we now are delaying getting to. Life Labs and Dynacare process millions of PAP tests a year in Ontario. They both tell CHCH News they're experiencing a backlog in results because the demand for PAP tests exceeds the provincial capacity. With the resumption of surgeries and with people going back in and getting physicals, there has been a huge demand. If you've got signs and symptoms, it is priority. What's not priority is when you just got a regular test that's going to be done. Possible solutions are now being looked at. Can we fund, can you bring back people who are retired, um, bring them back into the lab, help them train students? That's the first. The second thing is we're really trying to push all the existing colleges and universities to add more seats so that we actually get more students that graduate. A spokesperson for Health Minister Sylvia Jones says the ministry is in contact with labs and Ontario Health to discuss the turnaround times and is monitoring plans by labs to return to normal service levels. Anastasia Nochi, CHCH News.